The Seattle Seahawks will destroy the LA Rams in week 10. And here's why. What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Steezy A. Smith back in the building. It's Friday, you know what that means. Happy Blue Friday. And because of that, that means that it's time for another episode of Steezy's Three Keys to Seattle Seahawks Victory this coming Sunday against the LA Rams. Once again, Team Steezy, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We just hit 1,000, but we're not gonna stop there. Now the goal is to hit 5,000. If you guys could, please also show us some love on the extension of our YouTube on Instagram for more Steezy A. Smith content at Steezy A. Smith. Without further ado, let's get into it, y'all. Key number one, utilize a quick passing game. Look, the LA Rams are tied for fifth in the NFL in sacks with 25, and as has been a struggle for the last couple of years, the Seattle offensive line has not been performing up to par, and in last game, last week's game against the Buffalo Bills, they allowed five total sacks. With starting center Ethan Poachers not playing in this game, Seattle's offensive line will have a tough, tough time with the LA Rams, especially Aaron Donald. One of the leading containers for NFL Defensive Player of the Year, currently tied for second in the NFL with nine sacks, he has for years made a living in the Seattle backfield, and to avoid that at all costs, let's utilize a quick passing game. Look, one way to neutralize an opposing team's pass rush is by using short passes, putting the ball in key players' hands in space, and giving it to your fast guys. Well, we have the personnel to do so. DK Metcalf, as you guys have all witnessed all season long, once the ball is in his hands, he can work magic with that 4-3-3 speed. He is literally a freak of nature. Tyler Lockett, as we all know, he's also a beast, very underrated with the football in his hands. Let's neutralize that pass rush and try to hide the deficiencies of our, of our offensive line. Jordan Simmons last week had a terrible game, allowed five pressures and allowed a couple of sacks on Russ Wilson. Let's stop that and let's not allow the LA Rams to continue bullying us in the trenches. Utilize that quick passing game, give it to DK and give it to Tyler Lockett. My first key for a Seahawks victory this Sunday against the Rams, utilize a quick passing game. Key number two. He could go all the way. Key number two, let's run the damn football. Chris Carson and Carlos Hyde, as of right now, are currently still questionable for this football game. They haven't practiced all week, and so we don't even know if these guys are gonna play in this game, but regardless of whether or not they play in this game, we have to run the football. We've seen what happens when we go one-dimensional and we lose football games. We need to take pressure off of Russ because when Russ feels like he has no help, he tends to press the issue. And when he presses the issue, he throws terrible interceptions. If we run the football, that opens up play action and you already know what Russ and DK and Tyler Lockie are capable of doing. The Rams are tied for fifth in the NFL and the least amount of rushing yards allowed per game, but Russell Wilson can't do it alone. As we saw with the Buffalo Bills and the Arizona Cardinals, he tried to do too much and he didn't have his running backs in any of those games, but Alex Collins, DJ Dallas and Travis Homer still make up for a whole lot of depth. The Los Angeles Rams, while they're stingy in the running game, you want to attack their defense up the gut and through the trenches rather than in the secondary. So key number two, let's run the damn football and take some pressure off of Russ. Key number three, let's play a clean game. We've lost two times this entire season, and in both those games, we lost a turnover battle. I know it's an easy thing for me to say, but Russell Wilson does a tremendous job of not turning the football over. So far, he's just having a bad stretch with turning the football over, but don't expect that to continue. Jared Goff looks like a terrible quarterback in the NFL when pressure is applied, and as the Seahawks showed last season, they're able to show some signs of a pass rush. With a season-high seven sacks, they poured up more than 55% of their season total in one game, and I think that bodes very, very well for the Seahawks pass rush this coming game. The Seahawks also need to work on being more disciplined. Less penalties. This entire season, they've done a good job. Jermaine Fendi's no longer in the fold and so I think that's played a huge role in the Seahawks committing less penalties but key number three is really simple play a clean game less penalties and less turnovers that's simple key number three let's play a clean game all right y'all let me know in the comment section below what are your three keys to the Seahawks victory this coming Sunday in LA are we gonna bounce back after that tough loss against the Buffalo Bills let me know what you guys think in the comment section below am I tripping uh, last but not least, if you guys haven't already, please be sure to show us some love. Hit that subscribe button. Follow us on Instagram at Steezy A. Smith. Also, be sure to comment down below what are your score predictions for this upcoming divisional game. My final score prediction, 36-29 Seattle. That's going to be it for today, folks. Hope you all enjoy. Go Hawks and Steezy out.